Yeah, I think that I would say the first thing that, you know, I, I think chapter one in your career, you know, music career, should be define your goals and decide what it is that you want out of it, what you want to accomplish. And then, um, and then try to find, you know, the road to accomplish that goal. If your goal is to be, you know, rich and famous, um, then that's a, that might be a whole different path than to be a great musician, you know, because it seems to me these days that, that unfortunately, the, 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 the more, um, you know, uh, seems to me these days that being a, a musician who have studied all the, the classic music and, you know, somebody who is uh, brilliant on their instrument, I, I don't think the music business really have, uh, business as we know it today don't have much use for a musician that is so, um, that is so deep, you know, musically. And um, so I think that the first thing that you have to do is define your goals, what you want out of it. If you want to be a, a, a great musician and make some great music, um, and not necessarily be famous or, you know, these other things that come with it, you know, then um, that's attainable. You know, you can control that. You know, you can dedicate yourself. You can uh, find resources and find inspiration and, and things to achieve those goals. But if you want to be, you know, quote unquote famous, then that's a whole other, a whole other thing, which uh, someone like myself, you know, probably couldn't advise you on, you know, all these different aspects. But, you know, you have to seek advice, you know, from people who do what it is you, you're setting out to try to achieve. If you want to make money and be, uh, if success to you is defined by, you know, uh, by uh, some kind of uh, financial, if financial success is important, meaning like, I'll use two examples, like Britney Spears, you know, she's from around these, these parts. And Britney Spears, you know, has made more money than she can probably count in the music business. And, uh, but, you know, people don't hold her in high regard as a, as a musician, as an artist. And, uh, you know, and it's an eye to behold her, really, or the ear to behold her. But um, that's one thing that you can, you know, you can be very, you know, if you're going to be in the business, you know, you're going to have to figure out what's selling, what's hot, what's trendy. Jump on those trends, whether you're in management or whether you're an artist, you know, and you have to ride that wave until that wave peters out. Um, and, you know, it's just different ways to go about that. And if you're going to be a musician who, uh, you know, just I'll use a jazz musician as an example, you know, you might be uh, very well respected among your peers, but, you know, what that might be, 35 people or something, you know. <laughs> So uh, it's hard to make a living doing that. You end up maybe playing it in, in, you know, as background music in restaurants and stuff, you know, and you're a very accomplished musician or a singer or whatever. And so if you're happy, if that's the kind of music you want to do, then that is success for you, is that you found a way to make a living, you know, doing what it is that you love to do. And that's really, uh, uh, really success, being, being successful as opposed to being a, uh, a marketing person, a business person running some label, a major label, or a real successful label financially, and, uh, and, and your whole day is spent not with music, but with reports and, and sound scans and data and, and all these kinds of things. It's like you, can, you might as well be selling shoes or any other kind of product, you know, because you don't even have time to listen to music if you pursue that. But, you know, um, I'm not saying one is better than the other, but I'm just saying that the two don't, they don't naturally go together.